I'm just using an external flash with an umbrella over it to soften the light. It's about at a 45 degree angle from where I'm going to shoot. And my camera is on a sturdy tripod and it's on manual mode. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the banana on a plate, place a shish kebab stick into the banana. Then I just held it in place and took one photo of myself holding the banana on top of the plate with a shish kebab stick in it. And then I took another photo with no banana at all right, because we're going to combine the two in Photoshop later. But um, here's the final result. And now you can also do this with oranges and apples and any sort of fruit you want to. And this was the final result. Stick. You can also use toothpicks. So apples work very well. And then here it is when I removed all the toothpicks. So what we got to do is, like usual, create the layer mask, select it and grab a rush and start erasing that shish kebab stick so let's just go in here and erase that stick so what we're going to do is select the regular layer not the layer mask but the regular layer and then grab the clone stamp tool hold alt on a layer near the stick and then click and then click like normal to paste that on there. Another thing that you can do, grab the rectangular marquee tool, make a selection of just the stick, and then push shift backspace, and then this little window will pop up, and you want to select content aware on there, and then just push OK, and then it might just fill it in for you automatically, so you, you won't have to use the clone stamp tool. Now I'm just going to erase this part right here that I've missed before and bammo let's see how that looks yeah no one will be able to tell with that so how am I gonna do this I think what I'll do is just start off using the clone stamp tool so you're gonna have to do it multiple times usually just to get it perfect and I'm thinking that's good enough I don't think people would be able to tell done pretty much and now I'm just gonna start erasing the hand with using my layer mask. Um, I could try grabbing my quick select tool and just making a selection of my hand and there we go we got the selection now we're gonna go back to the mask and remember we're gonna press control backspace to fill it in with black or the background color so bammo that's done a large soft brush and just mix that in there and now you can see one of the photos is brighter. See how this is brighter? So in order to fix this, I'm just going to select the banana picture, image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, brighten this picture up just a little until that marking goes away. Now it's still there, just barely, but it's dramatically reduced. So here's the before and after. Okay, now, back to the hand. Going to the layer mask, grabbing my brush, and erasing this sucker. And actually, you know what? I'm going to try making the quick select, quick selection, and that worked out pretty well. So now I'm just going to fill that in with black on the layer mask, and bammo. Done. Now I'm going to get rid of those little edges that it missed. You shall see the final piece in a momentito. Some final touch-ups here. I'm going to grab the ruler tool and I'm just going to make a line from here to here. I'm just going to trace over the countertop line that was right there. And then I'm going to go up here and click straighten and that is going to straighten the image perfectly. Now what else could we do to this picture? Let me click Auto Contrast. That just made it a little brighter. And let me try experimenting with Auto Color and Auto Tone. Sometimes it gives you a cool result, like that looks pretty decent right there. But other times it's not the best. 
but I do think the auto tone does make it look better. Because like before, it looks like it has this this uh, kind of yellow, orangish, reddish hue just kind of covering the entire picture. But when you click auto tone, that goes away and it fills the, the color with the true color of what it should be.